Good morning, sweet friends. I am finishing up my walk today, and guess what I learned? Normally, I'm walking at like six o'clock in the morning because I have to be to a school by eight o'clock, but today I didn't have to be to a school till nine o'clock, and so I'm out. I got my little backpack on. Anyway, I'm starting to walk around town at like between seven and 7.30, and it is school traffic and buses and everyone getting to work. So, I mean, our town obviously is not very big, but I'm walking downtown and watching for the cars. And then my route that I take is near the elementary school and also near the high school. Anyway, and Columbiana does not have the best sidewalks and some roads don't have sidewalks. And honestly, I've never really noticed that too much because either I walk early or I walk in the evening. Anyway, so I decided I'm gonna finish my walk in the parking lot of the Baptist Church across the, across the street from my house. So I wanna check on everybody. I checked the news this morning and just was looking at the track of the hurricane. And anyway, whew, Lots and lots and lots of people out of power. Um, Georgia got a lot. Florida, the coast of Florida. Honestly, we didn't get too much. I mean, it's a little bit cl cloudy. We've got a little wind, not really much rain at all. So anyway, hugs and prayers for all of you that are just in the path of that storm and also who are probably without power. Anyway, praying for you. You can do hard things. Um, also, I just wanted to touch on, you know, we had a, we posted a video of me and Lori. Um, me, uh, crazy Busy Mama. I was about to say Milk Rep Mama Sita. And that is not her. But Crazy Busy Mama. And you guys, Daryl and I were sitting down last night just reading all of the comments. And they were so beautiful. And some of you are going through and have been through the loss of a spouse just like her. And your words of encouragement were so beautiful. And Daryl and I were like, oh, we just love our community. We just love the wonderful, kind, good-hearted people that you are. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for loving on Lori. Thank you for sharing your stories. Um, thank you for being an encouragement to each other. Um, also, I was talking with my sister yesterday and we were just, just kind of just talking like sisters do, right? And we were talking about the importance of self-talk and what we say to ourselves. And a lot of times we want other people, like if my husband would just say this, or my friend really hurt my feelings. Um, and what we don't really realize is that we're really responsible for our own feelings. And, and a lot of the bad feelings that we feel or the negative feelings that we feel really comes from the way that we're thinking, especially about ourselves. So how do you, you know, how do you get out of the negative thoughts that you have about yourself? Well, one of the things that I really realized because in my early twenties and even into my early thirties, I struggled with just not being kind to myself and then, you know, we've raised three daughters and I just kind of had kind of a light bulb moment. And in the light bulb moment, it was, I would never, ever, ever say to my daughters, say to my children, what I am so willing to say to myself and, and what comes so easily, you know, the beating myself up about what I look like, what I ate, how I treated someone, 
whatever about my house. Just all kinds of different crazy stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. So if you struggle in this area, and most people do, I think especially women, um, think about would you say the things you say to yourself, to a daughter, a granddaughter, your best friend, and chances are you wouldn't. And what's important is for you to be your own best friend. And that is something that I have really worked on. And I can honestly say that I have gotten really good at it, at taking care of myself, giving myself grace, being kind. And, you know, there are moments when I hear that negative self-talk start, where I start to criticize myself and I say, mm, Annie, we're not doing that today. We're not gonna do that. So, I just felt that in my heart to share that with you guys. I don't know who needs to hear it. I think we all need reminders of things like that. I'm always listening to self-help. I'm always listening to life coaching because it has really just helped me in my brain. The other thing I wanna share with you is, you guys, I love to laugh. I love a good time. Um, one of the things Daryl and I try to kind of do at night is we'll just look up some of the silliest little videos that we can just laugh at because we like to go to bed laughing. Anywho, I talked about and showed you Leanne Morgan's book. Y'all, if you don't know who she is, you got to go find her on YouTube. Watch her videos, Leanne Morgan comedy. Um, I listened to her book on Audible. She reads it. I've already finished it. It is so hilarious. And you learn so much about her, but she is so insightful. So if you want to laugh, listen to her on Audible. Go get her book. But also, I bought her book and I've been reading it too. That's one of the things Daryl and I did is I kind of read a little chapter to him the other night. So anyway, just, just want to share just my thoughts this morning about that. And um, I'm going to head back to my house. It's right over here. I'm going to head back to my house and I've got to jump in the shower and get dressed up like a scarecrow and head off to the school and talk about how pumpkins grow, which is kind of my fave. So I'm just going to remind you to be stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things. Know that Daryl and Annie, we love you and we love this sweet community that we have. And I will talk to you later. Bye, sweet friends.